in life, sometimes you gotta call it like you see it, but also you gotta walk it like you talk it. I'm Kyrie Anthony, author and astrologer, and this is your astrology minute. Hey, walk it like I talk it, walk, walk it like I talk it, walk, walk it like I talk it, walk it, walk it like I talk it. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about Mercury and Aries, sextile and Saturn, and Aquarius. The first thing we're gonna talk about is Mercury and Aries. Now, this last deacon of Aries is about a challenge. Mercury represents our communications and our thoughts. So another way to explain this is our insight. If you can see it within yourself, the sextile comes with Saturn and Aquarius. You should be able to speak it into existence. Sometimes we are looking outside of us, trying to figure out what we want. But the reality, we should look within us to see what we can have and then be strong enough to say it and speak it into existence. When we talk about Mercury and Aries and referencing it to insight, it's hard for us to get a real understanding of what insight truly is when our society and mass media has us focus on what's happening on the external world. And when we look at the external world, you're gonna see a lot of problems, but this isn't a bad thing. This is basically what life is. The earth will present us problems and we will go within ourselves to find solutions, present those solutions to mankind and we evolve as a species. So another transit we wanna talk about is Jupiter sextile and Neptune. Jupiter in the first deacon of Taurus is in the energy of worry. And like I said earlier, when we have problems, this isn't the end all be all to life, meaning that it's actually the start because when you figure out your problems, you're also going to figure out your solution. Are you strong enough to follow through? That will be sextile to Neptune because Neptune is in its glory in Pisces. But that doesn't mean that you will understand and overstand what you need to personally do. Because as we stated earlier, there are a lot of external forces that force you to focus on what's going on outside of you. But you never have any understanding what's going on within you. Some solutions to the energy would be to embrace the struggle. Don't run away from your problems. Face your challenges. And most importantly, do not be lazy. If you want it, you got to apply some form of effort. And when it comes to your vision, you got to call it like you see it. And when it comes to manifesting, you got to walk it like you talk it. Man, my name is Kyrie Anthony, author, astrologer, and this has been your Astrology Minute. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I 